In this video, we'll be talking about how Megan is pushing Harry to double down, yes, double down on his memoir and look for a job in this field. Stay tuned, we'll be talking about that right in this video. If you are new to this channel, interested in this kind of topics, consider to subscribe. Most of our viewers are not subscribed to this channel. If you are one of them, consider to subscribe or else my cat will not be happy, right? Few things I want to make mention of about this whole thing, Spare, the memoir that Prince Harry is going to be releasing January 10th. Number one is that this title itself, obviously the book is not out yet, the title itself has become a disaster. Yes, people are mocking, joking, insulting, and they are asking question where these people are getting all these names from. It is a shame. I actually made a video and I told you guys how people are laughing and I shared a video of the Today News or Today Show Australia, how the presenter there, they were laughing at this title, Spare, Spare, Spare. Spare, spare me. Wow. It is just so ridiculous, isn't it? The reason they chose this name, according to some understanding, is that air and despair. So spare. Does it make sense? I think this is how they are saying it. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely out of desperation from Harry's part. He does need some air to breathe. Please spare me. Harry is begging, he's screaming, please spare me. What is spare you? Maybe... You should ask this question to Megan. Spare me, like, let me off. Let me get off the hook. Please leave me. Oh my God, I'm having too much. Oh my God, I do not know what to do. But this is what exactly is the name stands for. For so many people, this is a complete disaster and people are laughing, mocking and joking. The name launch and the initial launch of the book in itself is going to be a complete disaster. It is already so, but as we see more and more people are talking about it, I'm pretty sure people are going to be laughing about it. That brings me to the next point, which is that people are not going to be interested in this book whatsoever let alone going and buying it, spending their money. Can you believe people are spending their money or taking so much interest? Oh, I need to go to the bookstore or I need to go online and buy that book. Oh my God, this is so important for me. I don't think, I don't see that happening at all. They could look at all the mockery, joking that are happening. It is unbelievable. Prince Harry, your book is not interested and people would not ever buy this book. Now let's get back to the main point. As I said in the beginning, Meghan Markle is pushing. Pushing Harry for what? Well, according to some news and sources, after I have done some research and studies, I found out that this book definitely would include Harry's mental health situation. Meghan is now pushing to take up a mental health coaching job for Harry. Yes, a coaching job. Why? Because Harry can use his own personal experience from his life and coach people. According to many reports, it also said that maybe in the beginning he will get some customers. People will, some of them will come to him and ask him, yeah, coach me. I am completely mentally out just like you. <laughs> but um, after some time, it is going to fade away. It is going to lose its gloss and people are not going to be interested in this kind of person like Harry to teach them about mental health and whatnot. Megan right now, she believes that it is time for Harry to actually shift his entire career from whatever he's doing or the memoirs, because remember the memoir, Netflix show, this show, that show, they're not permanent. Okay. They are on a contract basis. You need to have a solid foundation. You need to have a platform. You need to have a niche. Harry doesn't have one. Megan is saying, look, you writing book, you are explaining, you are appealing to so many people in all these uh, goofballs that are coming to Harry. You need to double down on this and attract some people so that you can choose it as your career because everything else is just a contract and a temporary job. Megan Markle, according to so many people, she contributed to this name. 
choosing this name spare i mean who would say hattie to choose this name other than this me again nobody else she is coming up with all of these terms you know archwell archetype and all, <laughs> all these names that are being tossed around as an object of funny discussion i personally think you know along with so many of you that this name was chosen completely based on megan's own personal important precious advice i'm just kidding guys you know what i mean according to some expert they're saying that this book or the coaching mental health coaching that harry wants to pursue as a career could have worked had it been a year or two ago because in the past people were not facing this rising cost of living inflation people are worried about making a living for themselves putting food on the table a roof on top of the head the last thing for so many people is going to harry and getting mental health coaching or even buying this book people do not have that much money and he is publishing this book at a very very wrong time people do not have that interest people do not have that money because of the circumstances they are in just think about this december is the time when people spend so much money they are willing to kind of like buy everything online and spend everything because the good deals are already there people do not want to miss out on those now january comes 10th january how many people would be like in december oh let's save up for january because Eddie's book is coming or let's you know keep some money let's budget the whole thing in a different way so that we can accommodate ourselves with financially to buy the book i don't think there is a possibility for that this is completely so nonsensical from harry's part and also random penguin house whatever they call it that they decided to publish this book in january when people would not have money and people aren't really thinking about mental health none of those things who would buy this book i mean from the very get-go it is a complete disaster and failure for harry and also for penguin random house having said that though guys i do believe in the beginning maybe for the first one or maximum two months the book will be sold a lot why because some you know people are curious many people are actually curious who are pro harry megan or not or they're pro monarchy they would have those curiosity to find out let's you know what give it a try let's see what harry has to say let's read the book uh, you know we have some extra money but again as i said after maximum according to this is very subjective after two months people are going to be like no man <laughs> and uh, yeah i have heard about it this book is a disaster i'm not going to be spending a single penny but uh, again as I, as I said temporarily for the short term yeah there will be a lot of people who will be very very interested in this book if you see that happening if you see news uh, and had his megan's fanboys fangirls coming out and say oh yeah yeah the book is a big hit people are buying it oh look it's uh, you know sold out and this and that do not get caught up in this naivety because the reality of it is that every single thing every new thing i should say whenever you introduce something in the market whether it is the worst thing in the world or the best thing in the world in the beginning it will gain that momentum but soon it will lose it i mean i'm talking about harry's book not something else megan markle has been a disaster for harry from the get-go he she is making harry look like an stupid i don't know what what are the word maybe goofball doofus he is someone who doesn't have any brain okay let's put it that way simple and easy he is being manipulated influenced by none other than megan and now she is making it even worse for him people are gonna actually joke with harry and nobody will take him seriously after what megan markle would do megan markle doubling it down on harry making him look even worse thank you guys for watching see you in the next video